Hello everyone, welcome. So I'm looking at the energy of Jupiter in Pisces. I'm recording this in December 2020 where Jupiter is in the last degrees of Pisces right now. And I have been watching this transit like a hawk. <laughs> right now, Neptune is in Pisces and it's going to be there until 2025, dipping in and out of Aries. Um, and this is when Neptune will be exactly where Jupiter is right now in the next two to th and next three years. So I know how everything is circular. The universe goes in a rhythm and pattern. So whatever is happening right now, there will be some type of um, rebirth or fruition going on when Neptune hits those degrees in the next couple of years. As I'm looking at all of this, I pulled out a tarot card and I got the hangman in reverse, really kind of talking about the energy of Neptune and Pisces um, as long as well as Jupiter in Pisces, and then to have Saturn, which will be in Pisces in March 2023. And the hangman is Neptunian energy. It is a strong 12 energy, which deals with endings, which is the 12th house, which is Pisces. And in reverse, it speaks of clarity, you know, seeing clear, being enlightened, going through a period of being hung upside down with all the blood is rushing to your head and your mind is getting a lot of uh, activity, your emotions, all your senses are up. So you really have to just trust, right? Whereas with the hangman reverse, it's all about clarity, seeing straight up and just kind of looking at something directly and knowing that you understand it as well as you being very in tune with things because you're consciously aware at the same time, right? So with Saturn moving into Pisces, Saturn is the planet of reality. And Neptune and Jupiter in Pisces is all about the dream, right? What are, are what kind of dreams are we having? Are there nightmares? Or are there really dreams that we want to make reality? Um, living from your dream, living from your heart, living from your emotion, living from your feelings. This can be some of the vibes uh, that are coming with this Saturn in Pisces energy. Saturn in Pisces can also be um, an energy that deals with looking at what is the nitty gritty, you know, the dark things that we don't really want to look at and really having to shed light on those things and really deal with them in a very practical Saturnian way. So um, with addiction, let's say an example, if you're dealing with addiction, getting help would be one way of dealing with uh, this. If you're dealing with um, um, alcoholism, sexual addiction, gambling problems, money problems, debt problems, all of these things that kind of um, take us away from the emotion, the joy, the happiness of the real dream that we've had since we were young children, you know, what was really your dream? How did you want to live your life, right? And where did those emotions go? So with Saturn moving into Pisces, Neptune will still be in Pisces when Saturn enters. And these two planets will meet. I'm going to look at the dates when these planets will collide because as Saturn is in Pisces, Neptune will be dancing kind of like back and forth and back and forth. So I really am watching all of this. It seems in 2025, Neptune and Pisces will finally meet. You know, they're going to finally meet. So right now, this is kind of like a heads up for the energy. Like right now, what is happening in your life? I'm recording this December 2022. And what is it that you want to change? You know, we're at the 29th degree. So it's a it's an anorectic degree. It's a really potent degree of letting go and something just being birthed or, or a lot of energy just coming out that's been held in for a long time, you know? So look at what's happening. Where do you have Pisces in your natal chart? What house is Pisces ruling? What house cusp is Pisces ruling? Where is Neptune in your chart? Where is Jupiter? Where is Saturn? That will tell you a lot about what energy is going to be playing out or what is already playing out right now in your chart or in your life. Okay, so I really just wanted to briefly touch on this and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you again um, for watching and listening. Bye-bye.